hey and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel hi and welcome so for today's video i will be doing my first halloween diy so if you want to see what i'm going to make then stick around So to start off, I wanted to recreate these wooden cats I've seen on Pinterest. I've seen them all over Pinterest. And I'm going to be using two sticks, two scrap pieces of wood that I had already. I'm going to start by tracing the line and going down so I know where to cut when I go and cut my wood. And pretty much I'm just creating like this V shape you've seen on the picture, which will be their ears. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this stick. Then I'm going to use... Once I cut that stick, I'm going to use that stick kind of like as a stencil or uh, whatever you want to call it, just so I can get the line even and have these even on my other stick once I completely cut both of them. Then once I cut both of them, I'm going to cut them down so they can be the same size. See? And I made three different size um, cats or sticks or whatever you want to call it. So once I cut everything down, I sanded everything, and then I'm gonna take my Waverly chalk plank paint in black, and I'm gonna paint my cats black. Now this part is up to you, but I went ahead and I distressed my sticks a little bit because I wanted my cats to be distressed. Next, I'm going to use some hot glue and some Gorilla Wood glue to glue my sticks together. And I also added staples in the back of my sticks, you know, just, you know, for, ex for extra protection. So if they was to fall or drop or whatever. Then I took my Crooked machine and I cut out these cat eyes and I actually got these straight from Crooked Design Space and I'm going to place them onto my little wooden cat. Now, a lot of times what I like to do, since I don't use, do a lot of stenciling, 
is I want to sand the vinyl down to make it blend in a little bit more with the wood so it can look like a stencil. And then the black chalk paint from off of the sanding pad, it kind of leaves this black mark over the white vinyl and makes it look even more, you know, like it was actually painted on. And this is how they turned out. So then I'm going to show you something that you can do. Now, I didn't leave this on here. I wasn't too crazy about it, but I wanted you to see it just in case you did like it. I took some Dollar Tree twine and wrapped it around one of the cats. And then I'm going to make a little bow for the front part of the cat. Now, you can do this if you, you know, if you like the twine or you can also use some ra raffia, if I'm saying that right, and add it to your cats too. I actually just like the way mine look just without the twine on it. But you can add it and take it off if you decide to later. And this is how my cats turned out. I really love the way these turned out. This is my favorite DIY so far from what I plan on creating for Halloween. So for the next DIY, I wanted to create a spell book using this an, another piece of scrap wood this is leftover wood from wood i had cut it's not even even <laughs> that i had cut from home depot so i'm gonna go ahead and take some black chalk paint and i'm gonna go ahead and paint the what would be the spine of the book in the back of the book book in the front of the book is going to be black around the top and around the top and the other side is going to be white because they will be the pages So once I was done, I'm going to take and go ahead and start painting the sides, which is going to be the pages of the book. Now, I did go back and clean up everything, you know, touch up um, the white and the black. I didn't want it to be perfect, but I still didn't want it, you know, to be kind of a mess. So I did go back and touch up some of um, the spots where I got wet white paint on a black paint. And then that was it. So now I'm going to take some vinyl and place the words that I want, which was, this is going to be the spine of the book, like I said. And I did, I just did spells and potions. Um, with something like this and with any other DIY, you can really go crazy with it. You can put like words and the author name on the back of the book and, the end, you know, I mean, you can do whatever you want with this. But I, mine is pretty simple, but I still like the way it turned out. So after I did spells and potions, I created this, uh, another little sticker to place on the front that says spells and potions, because this is going to be the cover of the book. And like I said, you can go crazy with this. You can add more details and everything. You know, this is just me showing you, giving you an idea of what you can do with some scrap pieces of wood. Then I had these little, like, designs. On Crooked, I just typed in lines, L-I-N-E-S, lines, and I, they had a whole bunch of different like little designs, and I just cut these out because I like the way these look. And then, of course, you know, I like to stress everything. I went in here, and I just took my sanding pad, and I just stressed my book. That part is up, too. So right here, I was trying to show you, but I could not, my lighting was not right. But I took my X-Acto knife, you can use a box cutter too, just be careful. And I'm just going down, I'm not going up and down, I'm just going straight down. And I'm trying to make, make it look like or appear that it's lines, because this is the book pages. So I wanted to look like book pages, if you see what I'm saying. But I'm going to try to get a... Uh, I tried to get a better, you know, view or try to show you how it turned out. It's so cute in person. It looked like actual 
book pages, but it's wood. So it turned out really, really cute. So for the last DIY, I'm taking these two canvas boards. One is from uh, Michael's and the other one's from the Dollar Tree, the smaller one. And I always buy these when they're on sale. Like I have a bunch. You got to catch them when they're on sale, like $20, $10, $15. But anyway, so I'm going to take some Waverly Chalk white paint and I'm going to go ahead and I like to always paint my canvas because my vinyl sticks better that way. Once I did that, I took some pink, pink, pink mixing sticks. I cut them down. I stained them because I didn't feel like I had to do that one to show you how to do that. I cut them down to fit my canvas, both of my canvases. And I'm going to just use some hot glue to glue them down. And then I flip them over and I use my staple gun to staple them down. And I thought I normally use like the Pablo wood or the square dials. But I wanted to give this more of like a rustic, old time look, if you can see, um, to create some little silhouette picture frames. So with this, once again, you can do whatever you want. I am actually just, I cut out a candle because I love Hocus Pocus. And if you've seen Hocus Pocus and you know what the candle is about. Then I cut out a cat because, of course, it goes with my witch theme. I love doing Hocus Pocus witch theme for Halloween. Uh, but, again, like I was about to say, it's up to you what you want to place on to here. So all these DIYs turned out really cute, super easy to recreate. Make sure you let me know down below which one was your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.